macro photography. It's this really cool style of photography that's all about taking pictures of really small things. And I find it really interesting because you can get pictures that you would never see anywhere else. But it has a problem. Macro lenses, outside of just being expensive, aren't very versatile. They can get those really cool close-up shots, but outside of that, they aren't quite as useful. Which can make macro photography especially difficult to get into for beginners. Because as a beginner, you're not just looking for equipment that's good value for your money, you're also looking for equipment that you can use in a lot of different situations, and macro lenses just don't do that. Okay, I gotta move out of this spot. <laughs> So for those people like me who are interested in taking macro photography but can't quite invest in all the equipment, today I'm going to be showing you how to take macro photography without a macro lens. First I want to go over a method that a lot of people use which is using reverse lens mount rings. These are rings that screw into the front of your lens and then mount onto your camera so you can mount your lens backwards. So the front of your lens is pointing at the camera and the back of the lens is pointing out. And by doing this, it basically turns your lens into a macro lens. They're pretty cheap and if you can find the right one that screws into both your camera and your lens, it can produce some really good results. But I don't have any of those, so my method that I'm going to show you is a little bit more creative. To do this, you're going to need two lenses, preferably a telephoto lens and some kind of prime lens. And you're also going to need tape. You can probably see where this is going. So by taking your prime lens and taping it to your telephoto lens backwards, you're gonna get a similar effect using that reverse mounting ring. When you tape it together, you wanna make sure that it's tight and secure so that the lens doesn't slide around or fall off because that could damage one or both of your lenses. You're also gonna need tape that doesn't let any light through because that'll mess with your shot. Personally, when I did this, I use electrical tape. The telephoto lens will act like it normally would and it'll be like, it's kind of like shooting through a microscope. And a couple things to keep in mind if you're gonna try this trick. Be careful with your glass. Especially if you're using a convex lens that sticks out past the edge of the plastic, you know? You don't want the glass on the two of your lenses touching because they'll scratch and it will ruin probably both of your lenses. When you're doing this, you're going to have to get really close to your subject, and I mean really close. So when you're shooting with the inside of your lens out, you have to be really careful not to scratch it or get anything on it, especially if you're getting this close to your subject because doing anything to this glass can really mess with your lens. When the things that you're taking a picture of is this small, and when your focal depth is that thin, any jitters from holding your camera are gonna seem huge. So if I'm taking photography like this, I'm always gonna be using a tripod, and I'd recommend, especially if you're using a crappy tripod like me, using a remote shutter, because the camera shake from pressing the shutter on your camera will be noticeable. Another trick I use to get rid of camera shake if I don't have a remote shutter is using the shutter timer. If I set it for two seconds, that's usually enough time to move my hand away and it'll stop shaking around before it takes the shot. So like today, I was taking pictures of my guitar and my succulent and I think I got some pretty cool results. So doing this can be a really fun way to get some more interesting shots that you may have not been able to do before. And as long as you keep your equipment safe, there's really nothing to worry about. This is just a little quick tip video for something that I think is really interesting. And if you try it out yourself, I hope you can get some cool results. If anyone tries this out, let me know how it goes. Okay, I think that's all I've got. See you later, have a good day.